we're going to make one of the most loved leftover turkey recipes, our turkey pie pie. This is all we need to get started, so let's get into it. So it starts with our pie crust. I will actually link the video to my pie crust that I've shared before. The only difference is I scaled back the sugar a little bit since I knew that this was going to be a savory recipe. So I'm just gonna roll this dough out. I have two of my pie discs here. I'm gonna roll out the bottom first, turning a quarter of the way each turn. I usually make pie crust in bulk, so I'll go maybe about four or six <laughs> uh, pie crust, knowing that I have upcoming pies and pot pies coming for the holiday season. It just makes it easier. And like I said before, I mean, you just really never know when the craving's gonna strike, so I just like to keep these on hand. Now here is the top part of it. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out since my counters are already a mess. So I'm just gonna roll this one out and then hold it off to the side until we work on the filling. Now that we got this all cleaned up, this is the easy part. It's really just dump and go from here. So I have two cups of diced turkey and I also have some peas and carrots. They're frozen straight from the freezer. That is what I had, but the ones with the green beans would be good here too. I have a little bit of onion powder. As always, I will leave the measurements in the description box. The cracked black pepper, gotta add that in. And then here I have some cream of celery. You could also use cream of chicken or cream of mushroom. I had this one left over, so I decided to go ahead and toss it in. And then just to loosen it up a little bit, I have some chicken broth. But if you had leftover giblet gravy, that would be perfect here as well. Just giving it a little gentle mix until we add the last of our ingredients here. And this one is my kids' favorite, so they look forward to having the pot pie out of leftovers. My favorite is actually my soul food burrito. I will link that one as well. I make that with all leftovers from uh, the holidays, so check that one out also. Now the last ingredient here, I have some really small diced up potatoes. I love it in here, but you could totally omit it. But the pot pies I used to eat growing up had potatoes in it and I loved it. So that's what I add into mine. So I'm just gonna give this one final mix before I get ready to add this to my pie shell. So here is my reserved pie crust and all I'm gonna do is just give this a dump in. Um, I will say though, it's also best to make sure you go ahead and give this a nice little smooth out at the top so that it all fits into your crust and make sure you don't forget about running this all around to the edges as you can see me doing here. Now we're going to gently add on the crust here. I mean, honestly, this is the best part if you ask me. Now I started here to do a crimp on the edges. You really could just cut it off. It doesn't have to be perfect for a, a pot pie. It's just as long as you give it a good seal so that the insides won't come out. Um, I started to crimp, but then I went ahead and decided to cut off the excess with my knife here. I'm just gonna give this a trim all the way around and then I am going to go ahead and finish my little crimp. Again, just to make sure that I have a seal. When it gets hot, I don't want it to um, bubble out of my pan here just so I can keep this together. Okay, so next up, I am just going to add a few slits in the pie. It doesn't matter how you do this here. I don't really know what I was feeling like. <laughs> the point is just to give it some ventilation uh, as it cooks. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is just add a little egg wash. It's just egg and a couple tablespoons of water. And I'm just gonna just baste my top with my pastry brush here, just to give us a good golden color. And then I'm gonna get this in the oven at 375. This baked for about 50 minutes, and oh my goodness, you guys, it was delicious. My kids could not wait. They were literally waiting behind me so they could have some of this. I hope you enjoy this recipe just as much as my family does. 
and leave me a comment. Let me know what is your favorite turkey leftover recipe. I'd love to try it.